bit of a struggle today. Didn't want to let you down, eh? Not today. August 23rd, 1926. Five years. Five heels. Isn't that what they say? Your mother would have come. Oh, don't be hard on her. Or is it deep she does? Like you. Always supports your big ideas though. I always thought that she'd become a dentist like me. You youngsters. Always talking about going up there. I told you I'd be going up there a long time before you, son. <laughs> it's beyond my wildest imaginings when you built an airship. <laughs> Willows One. A gondola slung beneath an enormous bag of silk. <laughs> 85 minutes it stayed in the air. Beginning of a new era, the paper said. 1910. My son, the designer of an airship. My son, coming down right alongside the statue of Lord Tadiga and the lawn in front of City Hall. <laughs> I close my eyes, I can still hear the cheer that went up from the crowd. <laughs> what did you get? 50 pounds. That's what you got, 50 pounds with a wife and a baby on the way too. Couldn't see what was right under their noses, those councillors and politicians. Didn't want to take a risk. Happy for me to spend my money on your factory though. Not, not that I begrudged it, I don't want you to think that. I mean, I wanted you to make a name for yourself. Uh, I did my bit, didn't I? Didn't think it was a good idea to go to London, though. Your mother, she saw the sense of it. Now take notice of you, she said, in London, at that exhibition. <laughs> he doesn't even know the way to London, I told her. Ah, but she chuckled when I told her you had to keep coming down to ask people for directions. <laughs> they must have thought it was the devil come to get them, she said. <laughs> ah, mind you, stroke of genius to follow the railway lines. Now I'll give you that. 150 miles. The longest cross country journey by an airship on record. For your ideas you had, your willows too. Then there was the London to Paris record. <laughs> you and Frank in willows three. Oh, what a size that ship was, eh? Took a lot of guts, that flight did. Or thick fog over the channel. Fuel frozen in the engine. And Frank dropping the maps over the side into the sea. And those French customs officials wanted to charge you import duty for your fuel. I'd have given them a biff from the ear. What was your reward? 
bankruptcy. 205 pounds plus to build that factory. 12 pounds at auction. That's all we got. One day, the city will want to make you one of its sons. Where are you? They'll name who knows what after you. Just you wait. Could have made Cardiff one of the most important ports in the air. You could. Look at Amundsen. Norwegians invested in him, eh? Yeah, he's made a name for himself, flying over the North Pole. That could have been you. The threat of war made them change their tune a bit though, eh? Oh yes. <laughs> a thousand pounds they gave you for Willow's Fall. And an order for barrage balloons from the Admiralty. You made one that flew 10,000 feet higher than any other one before it. Always the big idea. Those German Zeppelins. Oh, that was another thing. Not just soldiers in trenches, your mother said. No, even children in their beds aren't safe. That what you wanted to see, was it? Airships, used as weapons, always the way. <sighs> Willows 5 was a great attraction though, eh? <laughs> People happy to spend money on going up there on a joyride. The thrill of it. Until, until that flower festival. Who <laughs> Park? Flower Festival. Never stood a chance, any of you. Netting tore away. And oh. Time heals, isn't that what they say? <sighs> Fly high, my boy. I'll soon be with you. Up there. <laughs> 